What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a stronger chest using rings. All right, so let's get started. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to build a stronger chest using rings. Now the reason why rings develops a stronger chest is because of the stabilization factor when using rings. And that's evident because everything that you can normally do is always a lot harder on the rings. You're gonna develop great muscle balancement within your body when using this. You're gonna cure your muscle imbalancements. The reason why is because you have both your arms separated to each own individual ring, which is gonna have to give equal effort on both sides. When you're doing stuff like push-ups on the ground, both arms are on the ground. When you're doing stuff like bench press with the barbell, both hands will be on the same bar, which is gonna make it easier for you to leverage one side more than the other if one side is lacking. When you're using rings, you can't cheat this. You're gonna have to be using equal effort on both sides, which brings us to number three. Using rings is gonna make everything else a whole lot easier. If you've ever used rings before, you would know that doing a dip on the bars is like 10 times easier than doing dips on rings. And if that's not enough, you have constant core engagement through every single exercise. So today, we're gonna to be doing a ring workout for a stronger chest. And for those of you that are a little bit more advanced, you definitely wanna add weight onto your body for this workout routine. Now the best way to work out your chest is to make sure that you hit every area of your chest, your bottom, your middle, your top, and the outsides as well as the split. So we're gonna be doing that today with these exercises. We're gonna start off with ring dips. Then we're gonna move into pelican push-ups. Next we have push-ups, then we have flies, and then we're gonna finish off with incline push-ups. And that should target every single area of your chest. So let's start off with these dips. Make sure to lock out, guys. All the way down. All the way up, try to lock out if you can. Now the trick to this is to squeeze your hands as hard as you can to really get used to the control. A lot of times if you guys start doing this, your arms are gonna be like all over the place. Try to squeeze your hands close to your body. Lean forward and constant, constant squeezing from your hands and trying to keep them close to your body. Let's do some reps. All right, so there we have dips. That should have mainly engaged the lower part of your chest, although it's gonna engage your whole chest as well as it's engaging your triceps and other stabilization muscles, such as your core, while you're doing this. Next we have pelican push-ups. We're gonna need to set that one up. All right, so the next exercise we have is pelican push-ups. I'm taking the weight off for this one. You wanna make sure they have an elevated surface and the rings are down to about waist level. Let's go for it. So these are really tough, guys. So only go as far deep as you can. But this is the start position. Come up to here. Once you pass, opens up your chest as low as you can go. Bring it back up and follow the same pattern. Only go as low as you can go, guys. Eventually you'll be able to go lower. Let's go for it. All right, so there we have the Pelican push-ups. So that exercise right there should have opened up your chest. This is definitely gonna give you a fuller chest. You're working from the inside all the way to the outside on this exercise. So the next exercise we have is push-ups. Let's add some weight for that one. Next we have push-ups. This is mainly gonna engage the middle of your chest. Let's start from the top if you can close so you can really squeeze that chest. Open, come all the way down, come all the way to the top, squeeze the chest real tight.
Uh, that is a tough one after you get to this far. All right, let's move on to flies. All right, so now for this next exercise, we set the rings down low and we're gonna go for flies. This again is gonna spread our chest and work it from the inside all the way out. Let's go for some really squeeze, squeeze. This is a really difficult move, so if you can't do it on your feet like this, try doing it on your knees, okay? Like that. Eventually you'll develop the strength to be doing it higher. Just gotta bring up those reps. Here we go. Almost done. All right, well, let's get a box in here and we're gonna do the last move, inclined push-ups. All right, now we're gonna finish this exercise off with the top of the chest, doing some inclined push-ups. Remember guys, squeeze that hand as tight as you can. The better grip you have on this, the easier it's gonna be to stabilize yourself. Let's go for it. crazy. You guys see the rest. What you don't see is that stabilization factor that makes this a hundred times harder, which is why you have to try this exercise out for yourself. And if you don't have a pair of rings, you can pick some up at thenx.com slash shop. And that completes the end of the first round. If you guys want to do this a total of four rounds to complete the workout. So get started training on the rings right now. These tips work as well for every single muscle group in your body, not just the chest. And if you guys need a workout program that's gonna get you in the best shape of your life, sign up right now at thenx.com, become a member today. Get full access to our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are gonna turn you into a beast, not just looking strong, but actually being strong. We got a ring program also coming up on the way that's gonna be released really soon, guys. So for all you Thenx athletes watching, get ready for that. This program is curated by Osvaldo himself. So if you guys wanna be a beast just like him on the rings, you guys definitely need to check this out. Now with that said, we post every Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time, and comment right now, because within the 30 minutes, we're gonna pick a lucky person to win some free Thenx gear. So if we re reply back to you and you're the winner, congratulations, man. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Mad love. Peace out.